yellow skin, green skin, uh, red flesh, pink flesh, white flesh. Yeah. So they are variety. Yeah. But the uh, finest one that grow here yeah. are the desert king, the brown turkey, and the desert king. Yeah. I mean, uh, just after experience. Yeah. You can have the other one, but uh, depending where you plant them, the soil and all that factors come in. But uh, I quit, you know, propagating the other ones because of lack of, uh, you know. I started the uprooting yeah. them, putting them in a pot, yeah. and selling them. Oh, okay. First, I took them to my church and we sold them at ten dollar a piece in the church, and we make yeah, a lot yeah. of money with the two. Great, that's People awesome. loved it. Yeah. But then they start the word getting around. I start getting called to festivals, fruit society, master gardeners, and I make speeches and they pay me. Ah, nice. I did not expect that. Yeah. That's like icing that's, on the cake. You know, like, that's pretty fun. Like the, like the trees. You know, what I yeah. do with the trees is that uh, I propagate them and I, and I sell them. See how I make them uh, hold up to each other. Otherwise, they drag down. Yeah. And my objective is not to allow them to get too high because they'll be hard to harvest. Yeah. Okay, here you got two kinds of trees. Uh, one is Desert King and one is uh, Brown Turkey. And, and you know, these are for the animals not to climb easily. Yeah. They still penetrate. You see, now they're still they're starting to come out. They're coming out, yeah. You saw the figure, right? Yep. Uh, look here what I do. I make the uh, branch of the fig come from the tree. Yeah. And cover it with dirt. And then after a year passes or more, I cut down and this is ready to move. The tree to, in a, to go in a pot or to another garden. Yeah. Many, many of those are like that. Yeah. Okay, cool. And that takes how long to, to, to root? Uh, to have enough enough uh, roots to sustain growth on its own has to be one year. At least four no years? Less. Yeah. I mean, you can have it two or three years on your convenience. Yeah. But not less. And this is a brown turkey that's grown right next yeah. to a desert king. Yeah, the brown turkey is the front one, and this is the, uh, uh, the desert king. I mean, this is when it starts coming in. You cannot tell it apart unless uh, you come to the branches. And what, what are those uh, things that you have up here? Are those just to scare these, the birds? These are to weight the branch oh, down. Oh, okay. So those are weights. Yeah. So these are from windows. If this is not made to go this way, yep. to stand up, I cannot harvest it. Yes. Okay. This way, I bring the step ladder here. Yeah. And I go up with a hook. I have a hook. Yeah. Several hooks. Everyone different lengths I show you along the way yeah. and then I reach it you know extend my arm like I cannot reach for example that I bring it down and these if okay I see it makes sense my head I lift them up so just like this ball right here you grab onto the ball and it pulls the branch down lower well this was to distract the birds oh okay but this is not heavy <laughs> <laughs> uh, those are the heavy ones yeah yeah Okay. I mean, everything has a purpose. Yeah, that makes I sense. I don't do them for like this, you know. It's ugly, but I have to do it. Because the raccoon, if he gets there yeah. and he tangled, he doesn't like it. One time he get caught. Yeah. He can't know how to escape, you know. Bingo. And keeps the raccoons <laughs> and squirrels I, I out. I hate to shoot them because, yeah. you know, the neighbors will hear the sound and uh, <laughs> I think I am uh, cruel and all that. This is our mission... Uh, Oh. Uh, turkey, they are black and they are smaller than brown yeah. turkey. Yeah. They are darker in skin. How'd you get into figs in the first place? Did you, did well, if I come from Lebanon. Yeah, and there's a lot of figs over there. And Lebanon, you know, they grow wild on the yeah. streets. Yeah. Like you have blackberries and all over weeds. They grow wild. And my first experience was in our backyard, we did not have figs. But in the mountain, we have a house, we have figs. So I decided to get a branch like that, you know, break it mm -hmm. and stick it in the ground. Yep. It takes off. Yeah. But you have to be at the right time like now. Yeah. It's not just any other time. Right. Because you can see over there, that's what I do. I propagate them. Some of them I stick down and some of them I lay down from the tree. And then when the time comes, I uproot them and sell them. So here... 
this one is a black skin and smaller, yeah. but it carry more volume, but small size. And you, do you get two crops out of uh, this one Not and this the brown one. turkey? No, this one, one crop. Only one? The brown turkey, you get two, and, yep. and that's the only one that gives you two. That's a king, it may give you two if we have extended summer. Yeah, like I noticed last that last year. year. Yeah. yeah. And the year before, we kind of have semi one. Yeah. However, you cannot count on that because the second harvest on the desert king is smaller fig. Yeah. Yeah. And the other one, you know, you, you have experience that. But the brown turkey is the opposite. It is a small crop in summer, and at the end of summer, large crop. It goes until November. October, November is prime, it gets large. One time I get four and a half ounces of it. One? One, one fig tree. Not all of them. Yeah. One fig fruit, I mean. Four and a half ounces? Yeah, I have this digital scale. I, ha I have to see this giant fig, because I'm a big fan I of giant I wish I had figs. a camera like this. <laughs> yeah. Know, but, uh, but it, I kept that record. I wrote it yeah. down. And, uh, now, did, what, were you trying to, to grow it bigger by pruning no, some I of the just, other ones? It just came out that way? Random. Yeah. It was just random. And I just kept an eye. I covered it with, yeah. uh, with uh, netting so the bird or the raccoon don't come attack it. Yeah. I was waiting to, to, for it to get big and so proud that of it. That is and, one giant fish. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, you know. Like, you know, when a woman pregnant and she has twin, yeah. <laughs> it's just like bonus. Wow. Or three or four. That's without any fertilizing, huge. without yeah. anything. Yeah. I don't do any four fertilizing. Four ounces. Uh, the dirt that you see, I bring it in buckets, mm -hmm. like uh, five, ten gallon buckets. Uh, park it there and wheel it out here and I spread it. Every year I spread some New dirt. because the more dirt, the better. It's like a nutrition to it. What you see here is the grapes. It's coming oh, in, okay. yeah. like 80 feet from around the deck. Is this one plant? One, one tree is ending up here <laughs> so far. Wow. What kind of grape? This is Cabernet Sauvignon. So that's why we yeah. don't prune it. How, yeah, how do you prune for maximizing the production? Well, if it is not too crowded, too crowded I prune it. Like I did here, yeah. There. So when you pr prune it like that, you make it dense. You create a new, uh, uh, new branches coming out. Yeah. So when uh, I don't need that, so I let it grow and then I tie it down like I did over there, in order to be able to harvest. So you have to always think of harvest time. Because if you let it go 20, 30 feet high, right? Yeah. Then it's dangerous to pick and it's hard. Mm -hmm. And you then feed the, the bird birds. will get it before you. <laughs> yeah. You feed the birds before you right, get it right. yourself. And there's no point in that because no. I mean, you know, because people are busy. They plant and forget about it. Mm -hmm. it's just that I mean if you don't, it's just like children. If you don't have time to raise them, don't bring them. <laughs> but people do. And then you see the results ending up on the streets or on welfare right. and so forth. Right. So I, I mean I am I do this as a hobby and mm -hmm. I enjoy it yeah. and, and I have proven I didn't do it for profit but the profit came later on as icing on the cake. I did not yeah. strive for that. But right now if I have my life over again, like young man like you, I would probably make a big farm and you know put a lot of figs in it and sell to the market because in the Northwest we don't need it, we don't have that, we need it badly. Nobody sells the figs, yeah. trees and stuff except me. Yeah. And those figs you see in the store, they're coming from somewhere else, yeah. like California or Florida. Mm -hmm. And I have like two restaurants and two retail shops that come and buy my stuff. Oh, really? And I could expand more, but I don't. Yeah, I yeah. don't have time and I can't deliver because it takes sure. too much time. The time of harvest is precious time. I go from one to another continuously from yeah. July to November. Every day, you know, I harvest. You know, it's just, you insert the, the uh, container into the branch, you yeah. put dirt there and let it propagate a year and then you go underneath it and cut it and then uh, it's ready to move. It's, it's kind of like air layering. Yeah, did you see the, the blog on uh, in the internet mm -hmm. uh, explaining those uh, yeah. about figs? Yeah, she put it on the radio, that lady. Yeah, oh really? Also. Interesting. You know, but when she took it from the uh, 
uh, at the times. And from that time on, those the branches, they were going up and they started layering them down. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and so these are all trees. laid down and they're touching the ground and right. in about a year they'll grow some roots. That's right. Yeah. What about this big one right here? Is this a, something you just cut up? This one? Yeah, the big this one. This is what's just to hold it up. <laughs> okay. Just yeah, to hold I was it thinking like that was here, a big giant cutting. Because otherwise they go layering down. Yeah. So you might want them to stand like a tree. Yeah. This way you have to make it, you know, it's away like here or there. Interesting. To hold the branch up. And then you got, yeah. go like that. Except it's cement. Here you got a great view of the lake back there too, huh? Yeah, you know, the lake and the deer come there, but... It is hard for the deer to climb up here. And this tree is huge, so this thing must put this out tree. hundreds of pounds. Of, is, is it Desert this King? Is 30, yeah, this is 30 years old. 30 year old Desert King. Yeah, this one we go to this house. You know, yeah. The reason I put it there by the, uh, by the border is because we had three children and their friend used to come here and play all over the place. Yeah. And if I put it in the middle somewhere, then they will break it down. Right. Oh, this is another tree here. This is what, where Nancy Lesson wrote that article about me in the Seattle Times. This uh, is where we... Come and see what's happening here. From this tree, this is Peter's honey, I have two branches go under the soil and popping up here. Okay. And then you got some weight on yeah. them? Yeah. Yeah, I put some weight here last year, but now this year and beyond it's going to be trees. Yeah. So when I cut there, I got two or three trees or four, and then I moved them into those big size containers, and you see how I keep the weight them down, I tie them with something, like there I tie them to the rock, so uh, I want to be able to harvest. Here I have a lot of sizes, depending on the tree, I move it to it. Over here, See, look what's happening. This is another big tree right here. This right. Is, is another uh, Desert King? Yeah, this is Desert or, King and this is uh, Brown Turkey next to it. And uh, see this branch here? Yeah. It's going down under the rock, going up there and popping up there. Oh, wow. There's two one, one by the wall and one by here. And the one that's going here, look what's happening. It pops up two new trees. Yeah, I see. Because this is going here like that one and that another one there. Yeah. So whenever I'm ready, I could cut from here as a tree, cut from here another tree. Yep. You take that and a tree and so forth. That's a big branch. This is distraction for the birds. They don't <laughs> like glittery things. But the raccoon, they don't care. They... You weren't down in Mardi Gras partying over here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they are like, uh, they are like stuff I buy at garage sale. Yeah. And people want to get rid of, use them as distraction. Yeah. yeah. Not like I look for them. Yeah. Ribbons work well too, those the little ones. Yeah. You see, all tied down because make convenience. Otherwise, uh, otherwise they shoot. Is this uh, another desert thing. king right here? N another yeah, desert, this king? Is desert king? Oh, okay. So you're probably pulling like hundreds of pounds a season, perhaps. I, I look for money. Every time I sell like yeah. $20 or $40, $50, I write it down in my calendar and then I total them. Last year it was about two thousand dollars. Oh, great for you! That's really yeah. good. Yeah, I mean little by little. That's yeah. including trees and fruit. And fruit, yeah. Because I, if I categorize them, it take me longer time, but doesn't matter. And what, like a tree like this, how many pounds of fruit do you think it'll produce? <laughs> well, you'd never guarantee because uh, because you are sharing that with the the birds, with the birds and the yeah. raccoon. The raccoon is yeah. my big enemy. That's true. Number two is the rats. The rats come and eat them raw mm -hmm. before they ripe, uh, like cucumber, you know, hard. Yeah. They chew it. Mm -hmm. But the bird, they choose the best one that has to be ripe. That's what I think. <laughs> so, uh, so I filled the pond with uh, dirt, you know, like I bring it, a load of dirt. Yeah. And I put it here. And I, I planted here, we got a new tree, it's called... Uh, uh, Negronti. Negron? Negronti. Have you heard of yeah. that? Yes. It's very black and very mm -hmm. long, thin. Mm -hmm. And it started to come out. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> and I, I have some of the grass taken from here yeah. into that. Yeah, this should be a really good... You've already had fruit from it, right? I had last year yeah. two or three. Yeah. Not much. It's still baby one. Yeah, it's a good... It's greenhouse. See, it's covered like that and open from here. Yeah. So it's a room to breathe. And is that a low quant right there? Yeah, low quant here. Yeah. I move it around to the tree that need help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just like, you know, you take it to the hospital, you pamper it a little bit, and it goes. Like this, you know, have grown. It used to be over here, I moved it. And the same thing with here, I just moved them because those were in a small container. They go up in stages. Gives them more room to spread. And over here, you get more trees. I put up like bare root, and you can see they start coming up if you come close to it. And these are varieties. The square one, the square one are uh, brown turkey. Mm -hmm. the, the green one are the uh, white figs. And the, the orange one are the kind I was telling you about, uh, purple and large. Yeah, okay, cool, great. The 